I'm Tanya Peterson, and I'm a mental health writer. I write many things here on HealthyPlace.com, and I also write novels that tell stories about people who live with mental illness and those who love the people that live with mental illness. I do this because I want to increase understanding and empathy because as many people know, mental illness is often misunderstood, and that means the people who experience it are misunderstood. One mental illness that is one of the most misunderstood of them all is something called dissociative identity disorder, or DID. With DID, people dissociate. Now, a dissociation is a bit of a separation from the normal senses where people kind of separate from their own consciousness and they experience the world around them differently. With dissociative identity disorder, there is a severe dissociation, an extreme switch, where the people aren't even aware of what's going on around them from their own perspective. They dissociate from their main identity and they switch into what is called an alternate identity or a different part of themselves. Now, these dissociations are typically not something that people with DID love to have happen to them. They're not something that people can choose to do or people can control. They don't do it on purpose. It's, it's a switch. There's usually a trigger, a stressor. These, the reason people don't like to do this, to have these switches, is one, they can be very dangerous to the person. I have a friend, a well-functioning friend, who lives with this dissociative identity disorder. And there have been times when she has switched and gone on what is called a fugue. A fugue is a trip somewhere. She switched at one point, she went on a fugue to a, a city that was a couple of hours away from where she lived. She came back, the dissociation stopped when she was still in the city, and at first she had no idea where she was at all. Then when she became, came to recognize the city, she had no idea where exactly she was, what she had been doing, how she got there, and how she was gonna get back home because she was all alone. Now that can be a really dangerous situation for someone to be in. Another reason people dislike their switches is they can be very life disrupting. My latest novel, 24 Shadows, tells the story of a man who has recently been diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. He has a wife, he has a son, and this disorder is disruptive to all of their lives. At one point in the story, he actually loses his job. And when he comes into work, he's, he's called into the boss's office and he's fired. They tell him he has missed too much work and he is completely baffled. He doesn't remember missing work. But what was happening to him is he was dissociating and these alternate identities of him, of his, were going off. He didn't know what they were doing. He thought he was working. So they can be very, very life disrupting. And also, these dissociations are very disconcerting for people. Even the small ones, a lot of the dissociations are short-lived, uh, both in time and in scope. It can, they can even be just a few minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. But when somebody comes back, the dissociation stops and they're fully experiencing life from their own identity, they all of a sudden realize what, what's, what's going on. You know, what, what have I been doing? And how much time have I lost? That's a big concern. Many people will wear a watch. Okay, what time is that? I remember it was this time. Now what time is it? How much time have I lost? What has happened? So these dissociations, like I said, they can be, can be dangerous. They can be life disrupting and they're very disconcerting. Dissociative identity disorder is not something to be feared. It's not something that people choose or that they can control, but it's a dissociation. It's when somebody separates from their main identity and starts experiencing life from an alternate part of themselves. And it is, it's hard to understand, but it's well worth learning about. Because when you know about it, you understand it, 
And when we understand things, we have empathy for those who are living with it. So thanks for listening.